Imagine getting to experience Africa and its magic for the very first time. Hunting these majestic animals is stuff you can't put into words. Hunter was an excellent shot and got some quality planes game and a proper buffalo. This trip was definitely one to remember, so enjoy the movie. So anyone that's hunted the eland before knows that the work and effort that goes into it is quite big. You need to really outsmart that animal at his own game and it's not easy. So we decided to start with the eland bull first. We got onto a couple of cows, nothing really shootable, a couple of young bulls, um, but nothing that we really wanted. So that afternoon on the first day we walked down the river and then Zani suddenly stopped and she heard that clicking sound. So that clicking sound the eland bull makes when they're walking is usually when they're relaxed. You hear that sound when they're walking. So we heard that and um, suddenly our heart rates went up and we knew that thing was really close. This is a proper eland bull. Uh. We found the zebras uh, walking with the giraffes, which is quite smart of them because the giraffes have a very high vantage point. So every time they would see us when we get close and run away. But eventually they did make their mistake after the whole morning's walking and trying and walking and trying. They gave us an opportunity and uh, Hunter put in a very difficult shot. And we finally did get the zebra after some time. We left them for a couple of hours because uh, we believe a branch deflected the bullet. Which was awesome, but it was yeah, quite nerve wracking.
is all in my sable now. I'm gonna try and put a nice We found Hunter's sable bull in the thickest stuff possible. And he really did make an exceptional shot through a lot of brush. And a lot of emotions played through when that big guy went down. And it was just an amazing day. Very, very hot. But it was all worth it in the end. Is the hunter? <laughs> This morning we were after a couple of kudus, five bulls in the river and uh, we almost got it. It was literally seconds away, one yeah. step and we would have gotten him. But uh, we struggled for them with them for about two hours, maybe two and a half hours. Then we decided we we're going to walk the river, found a couple of young bulls, found a bull with one horn, <laughs> which was not going to work. And uh, literally in the last let's say about 500 yards before we were going to head back to camp for some lunch. This bull with two younger bulls came out and the hunter really made an exceptional shot on him. It was difficult. He had to uh, bend his giraffe legs to shoot under <laughs> a stick to get a clean shot at him, but it was perfect. One shot down. Hello? Got him. Yes, that's a very big guy, so nothing. No. Beautiful Nyala Dao. Go to some camp meet, Mr. Hunter. <laughs> But he knows it's gonna cost you a lot. Here's the answer.
So we followed this Impala from the road and I <laughs> thought there wasn't going to be any shot to that because the bush was so, so thick. But uh, the, PH, must believe. <laughs> the PH got it done <laughs> and Hunter made an awesome shot of it. Buffalo hunting. Buffalo hunting, okay. this is a good morning. <laughs> <laughs> we bumped them yesterday afternoon, late, late, against a small little hill, and uh, they got away. So we're gonna get on the tracks again this morning. Hopefully, we can pick up a nice old dog, dog boy. So this week we're hunting the Palaborva area in the Limpopo province, right next to the Kruger National Park. It's a completely free-range area and uh, it's home to the entire big five plus a croc and a hippo so it's a very exciting destination to hunt you never know what you're gonna run across we ran across a couple of elephant bulls and cows with calves and some hippo females with the calves it's a very dangerous situation to find yourself in but nevertheless it stays exciting because the river bush is so thick all the encounters you get is very close encounters so there's not a lot you can do in a situation like that except backing off. Like the buffalo, we saw a buffalo bull um, very, very smart. He uh, went into the thickets just next to a small stream and uh, we tried to get him out there. We saw the ox peckers the whole time flying and dropping down in there. We couldn't get him out there, so we sent the trackers in and we let them make noise. And uh, to get the buffalo out into the open, into a path where we thought he was going to run. And, uh, as a big dugger boy does, he did completely the opposite that we thought he was going to do. First day finish of the buffalo hunt. No luck. We'll see you tomorrow. So the next morning we climbed up the side of a mountain just to look if we can maybe spot a buffalo from up there and then suddenly the spotted hyena jumped out and started running up the other side. It was a very cool sighting, you don't usually see spotted hyenas during the daytime but I imagine he was sleeping down there in his cave or something he's living in and uh, we spooked his lunch nap. Huh? Too much rain now. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> well, the rain got all of us. Look here. <laughs> Gonna wait until the rain stops a bit.
this is too sore for each other. So we've been looking for the same buffalo bull for five days now and this is the last afternoon and party finds tracks heading right of the stream upwards and um, we knew this was our last opportunity so we got on the tracks the wind was good and stable and uh, for a couple of minutes we followed the tracks and then we saw the, saw the oxpeckers starting to dive down so we knew that buffalo was just here in front of us and um, we went closer we went closer and we saw a horn moving and the buffalo was lying down almost parallel with us and um, yeah Umfani and Hunter made their way forward up and towards the buffalo to get a bit of a better angle because from where we were standing at there was a lot of brush and um, there wasn't a good shot and with him lying down it was a risky shot to take um, so they ended up deciding at the end on a shot placement him and Umfani so um, we just waited <laughs> and uh, I saw Mr. Matt was already on the back up there. He said he wanted to pull both triggers if that buffalo moved an inch. So that was quite interesting waiting for Hunter to pull the trigger. And um, at the end of the day, he made a perfect shot. He went down. But this morning we all woke up with a good feeling and good dreams and just uh, ready to kill a buffalo. And we said sooner or later it's going to make a mistake and it was today. Congrats Mr. Hunter. Yeah, and I awesome. think it was very special having oh, your yeah. dad on backup as well. Oh yeah. September 2023 and he went down with one shot right in the neck but thank you thank you Thank <laughs> you. 